Hi, this is Andy from GPS Training. In the short video, I'm going to show you a great new feature of Garmin's Topo Great Britain Pro Mapping when used with a Garmin GPS device. The Topo Great Britain Pro Mapping is a new mapping that has a new feature on it called On-Trail Route Guidance for the National Parks often known as off-road routable data. That basically means if you're walking in one of the 14 national parks in Great Britain, this map card that has Ordnance Survey 1 to 50 and 1 to 25 mapping will let you select somewhere on the map to walk to and calculate the route. A bit like a car sat nav would take you from A to B on the footpath network. So this is really designed for walking and hiking activities as it's the footpath network that's got this special routable data in the national park. So you need to be in one of the 14 national parks. If you watch our previous video on using the Topo Pro mapping, we show a nice demonstration on the Basecamp software, the free planning software from Garmin using the same feature. So this is the top topo great britain pro mapping that we have available on our website as a product to buy to go in a garmin gps device or we have gps devices bundled with the mapping which works out a more cost effective way of buying a gps unit so i'm using the oregon 700 gps device today when you first get this device it has profiles set in if you've bought them um, such as hike cycle etc if you bought a gps device from gps training you'll know we already set the gps device up for you so it's all ready to go we create the correct settings to use the standard os mapping when you're not in a national park but if you do buy this topo pro mapping from us we can set up an extra profile for you which is really easy from the settings menu i can just go into settings and there's an option if I just scroll down to the bottom where we can create a new activity profile. So I'm just going to create an activity profile. I can pick an icon that I want to use that I'm going to see on the screen. I'm just going to leave the picture of someone hiking, walking with a rucksack. Hit the little tick. I'm actually going to call this one hike. And then just, sorry, I'll just hit the little delete there. Get rid of what's there already. I'm going to call it hike. And just so I know it's the one that I'm going to put in the routable setting so that it takes me round the footpath network when I'm in a national park, I'm going to call it Hike NP. So I'm giving it a different name to the standard hike profile that's already in the unit. I'm just going to hit the little tick at the bottom and that's that one done now. It's basically will have copied all the settings that you had in the profile that you were on when, I t when you touched the three white bars to go into settings. So it'll have copied the hike profile I already had. All I'm going to do now is go back into the settings for this new one called hike MP and I'm going to go down to routing, select routing. Instead of direct routing that we use when we're out of the national park, with Ordnance Survey maps when you're using this Topo Pro mapping, or it is the profile that you do need to use with any of the standard Ordnance Survey map products that aren't the Topo Pro map from Garmin. But with a special map, I can select Activity. I'm actually going to change it to Hiking. And I'm just going to leave it as Lock on Road No. Hit the little back arrow there. And what will happen now is when I go to the map page by touching on the person uh, hiking, it's going to start the recording there. So if I was out in the field now, I could move the map. So I'll just touch the little icon to let me move the map. I could move the map somewhere further ahead of where I am. Look for the footpath that I'm going to aim for. Use the zoom in, zoom out, just to give you an idea. Obviously, it's easier when you are outside in the field. I'm in the office today, so I'm not actually out on the field. But it's just to give you an idea. So I could touch somewhere on a junction of a footpath there that I want to aim for a little bit further ahead. Get the drone pin in place. Touch the little box at the top and it'll give me the option to say, do you want to navigate to that point? So if I say go, it'll then say calculate. And the route, you do need a GPS signal to do this. And then what you get on the screen of the GPS is turn by turn arrows when you get to various junctions as you're navigating around these footpaths in the National Park. That's just a demonstration of the principle of what you do but really you would need to be outside you're in the national park you've decided you may be on the fells the route you were following um, is too far the weather's turned nasty so you could just mark somewhere on the map and say take me there as long as you're in a national park and you've got this new topo pro mapping and you've changed your route profile setting to hiking the other thing i could have done if i just swipe up from the bottom here and go back to the home page i'm just going to stop the navigation there so again, if you were out in the fells, um, you could use the where to, the little icon there, where to, the magnifying glass, to search for, I'll use the option, just 
It's going to find cities. If you had a, t a little village, a town or village you were going to aim for. So you could be out on a fell up in the Lake District. The route you're doing, too long. You decide you want to get back down, say, the village of Grasmere in a hurry. I'm in Northumberland today, so I'm just going to look for an option of one of the villages in Northumberland. It'll list them in distance away from you. So even though I've picked the cities option, it does list towns, villages, hamlets in order of distance away from you. It tells you the distance as the crow flies to where that village is. That is if we drew a straight line to it. If I select a village here, it'll show me on the map where that village is. And if I select go there, again, it'll calculate the route for me. But if I was in a national park now, and you know off-road in the fells it would snap that route onto the footpaths for me to get down to that village using this new topo pro mapping and again when i get the junctions i'd get these little turn by turn arrows on the screen but you do need to remember if you don't create a profile like the one i've created called hike national park if it's one of the standard profiles when you go back to doing a route out of the national park you must change it back to direct routing so I hope you found that useful on using one of the new features on the Garmin Topo Great Britain Pro mapping using this on-trail route guidance when you're in one of the 14 national parks in Great Britain. Thanks for watching the video. If you visit our GPS store under gpstraining.co.uk, there's GPS store and you'll see headings for units with full OS 1 to 25 mapping and just look for the options of the units with the Topo Pro Great Britain mapping. Thanks for watching this video.